Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Friday's scheduled live stream about a half hour early in ABA Studios. Hour early. Is it an hour early? Yeah, we go live at Oh, wow. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was 2.30, so this is why I keep Wes around. Oh, hello. I'm Wes. I and didn't I'm know. Well, I'm Joe's doppelganger, actually. Joe could make it, so I'm here. So uh-huh. don't expect the loud, obnoxious screaming and inappropriate comments this live stream. It's not going to happen. Okay. About unless, that. Unless Wesley brings it out in me. <laughs> I don't know. We do have some pretty cool things to talk about, right? Uh, oh, we will definitely. We will start with the one thing that I was super excited to see, and I hope it's true. But reportedly, a new AMD 16-core CPU has leaked online through Geekbench scores, and it just spanks the hell out of Intel's 9980X, let me tell you, dude. It is crazy insane with oh, the yeah? amount of scores. So based on what I see here, it doesn't have an amazing single-core score. It's like just below the 8700K okay. previous gen, which... AMD hasn't really made a name for themselves with single core performance to begin with, right? Right. However, it's multi core score sixty one thousand seventy two. Can you <sighs> could you guess what's better than that score? What's better than that? Score? Nothing. Oh, it's the best Cinebench or Geekbench score recorded, if it's legitimate. Okay, that is. Um, the ninety nine eighty X had somewhere in the ballpark of maybe fifty two thousand. Maybe oh, wow, 55,000. Oh, wow. Dude, that's, that's it's pretty big. Gap. No, actually, I I lied. No, I think it's like 48,000 now that I remember. Okay, it's, even it's bigger. Pretty close. All right, nice. It's pretty close, but it is crazy, the performance difference. Oh, most definitely. I mean, so AMD has already discussed their Ryzen 9 3950X, another 16-core CPU that goes for $750 and competes heavily with, again, the 9980X at $2,000. So tell me, Wes, as a gamer, even though the, a 16-core processor priced at $750 is something you would probably never really need, do you think that that price difference is enough to entice you to purchase it just because? If you could afford it, that is. Uh, no. You don't think so? No. Why not? I've got to see it in action. I can't, I can't, take, the, I can't take the rumors. I, I, I can't. I, I, I have some displeasure in the fact that that's like the common tone with AMD CPUs before they release. We want to actually see tangible scores before. Well, that just, uh, okay, it's kind of, if you want to get down, it, it boils back to the whole pre-ordering video games. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. Like, show me a, I do. Show me a sweet trailer and you're just expecting me to throw, throw my monies. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, it's not going to be wanna, a, I want to see some action. Hurry up and take my rupees situation, but still. Yeah. Yeah, most Chad definitely. McNabb uh, asks, alien underneath the skin, Joe? Yes. Yeah. So right now, things are okay. As long as I stay hydrated, I'll maintain my shape, but eventually my skin will start to sag, and you'll start to see me where I am, and I might demand sugar water. <laughs> Hello, Juke W. Welcome. Yellow. Welcome. Yellow. Hello. Yellow. So, yeah. In closing, to the discussion of AMD's 16-core CPU, if it's going to be around the seven hundred and fifty dollar price point, maybe even more or less for professionals, that's huge. I mean, oh yeah, mo- for professionals, most definitely. We ran some statistics. Mm-hmm. I ran some statistics yesterday with the help of our product management team, and ever since the release of Threadripper, we have sold significantly more AMD workstations than we ever have. Granted, AMD never really had workstation class processors before. Right. You know, they never had HEDT processors. It was always desktop. With, with Bulldozer especially, and their half cores, right? Okay. So, I mean, there, there's something to be said there, but the amount of people that I've been quoting for Threadripper workstations and the amount of money they've been saving on CPU costs that they've then been able to allocate to things like graphics card or SSD storage or additional expansion capabilities, I mean, that's huge. Oh, yeah. You know, to have that savings. Um, on a similar note, not to kind of sidetrack, but I helped somebody yesterday get into a dual Xeon workstation because they were originally looking at one of the W Xeon series okay. processors. So the W series, it's single socket, not like most Xeon works yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That CPU, it was, I want to say an 18 core and it MSRP'd for like 2,100 bucks around there. Then I looked at the Xeon scalable CPUs, the ones that are four digit, you know, 6850, 6820, things like that. Two 18 core CPUs only ran him like an additional $200 and it was only clocked Maybe 200 megahertz slower. Oh, okay. Right. And he asked he asked the one question I see all the time. What's the reason for the, like, where are these pricing differences coming from? I'm like, 
<laughs> I don't know. I mean, the only caveat I can see to dual Xeon boards is it forces you into a very specific form factor, i.e. Okay. big as hell. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Um, When you go with a single core board or a single socket board, whether it's Xeon or not, then with an ATX board, there's a lot you can slim down with just an ATX board. Oh, yeah. You know, Lee and Lee sells a case now that's just the exact dimensions in width of a radiator. So you can mount okay. a radiator up top, but that's where it's width stops. It's like this. And oh, you can right. mount it on the wall and it fits ATX boards. All right. Downside though is that you only have four expansion slots because it uses a, a ribbon riser that mounts all the devices vertically. Right. So that's I mean, it's a takeaway, but I'm my wife actually uses Casey uses the exact same case. Oh yeah. And she's only ever gonna have a graphics card in it. So it looks nice. I was dying to mount it to the wall and she's like, That's fine, just leave it on the desk. You should have mounted it. To oh, the wall. Uh, I don't want it to. Welcome to the stream, Corimia21. Yo. Hey, Alien Icon. Hey there. Hi, uh, yo, yo, yo. Galley Fry falls no more. Hi, Wesley. Hi, Galley. Do you, do you know this individual? Maybe. Hmm. I mean, I see. You know, my name is only on the, you know, intro. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm not Wesley, though. <laughs> Think about maybe, it. Maybe you're Wesley. Hello, Wesley. Hello, Wesley. Hello. Hello. Oh, your name is Wesley, too. Oh, I'm Wesley. Name is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump to one of your topics now, because I saw what the first topic was that you were covering in gaming news, e. and <clears throat> I I got really excited, like, to the point where I could probably cut glass. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, um, as many of you know, E3 happened this week. No. And this la uh, past weekend, it was a disappointment, let me tell you. I saw um, on your however, social media. I saw on your social media you thought it wasn't that great. I still was stand not firm happy. in that statement? Yes, 100%. Okay. okay. Uh, Galley Fry Falls No More says, It's your sister lo loser. <laughs> I do know. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, God, she even knows you're a loser. That's crazy. It's, I, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. You're, you're a loser, too. Crazy. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Only on Fridays, I'm a loser. Okay. So, uh, Keanu Reeves can appear throughout Cyberpunk 2077 because he lives in your head. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 like somewhere in the game, and then they could patch it in. I hope they do. Yeah. Well, what's crazy about what I love about Keanu Reeves, not to sidetrack for the second time so far, is the fact that when he came out on stage in E3 and he gave that presentation, none of that was scripted. None of it. Like, of course, there's things he has to say. Yeah. But it wasn't like all the people that go up there to, to show E3 tech. They're like, "Hello, everybody, and welcome." And boy, do we have a game for you. And you're like, dude, just. Show me the damn footage. I just want to see the game. Yeah, no, he was very personable. He was very Keanu. Oh, yeah. Every, and now, like, because of all the attention E3 brought him, now there's, like, this support group of women um, dubbing Keanu Reeves as the king of um, respect. And they, cre they created a montage of four different photos that Keanu Reeves was in with women. Mm -hmm. And in every single photo, he has their arm like this behind them. Mm -hmm. But you can see his hand clearly out like this, that he's not making physical contact with them. Oh, oh. You know, and then you put that in, in conjunction with like all the Joe Biden photos and videos of him just uncomfortably touching other people that clearly don't want to be touched. Oh, I see those. You know, and let me tell you. But it, but but it's crazy though. Like, are people shocked that Keanu Reeves is a respectful guy? Like, it's making it's like it was viral for like a solid week so I think far. They have no choice but to be shocked because they look for anything and everything to nitpick on the internet, I especially guess. in the gaming industry these days. They found something they can't nitpick. So, what, I mean, what, what did you say the major complaint was in Cyberpunk 2077? I don't know. There was a new complaint that came about because there's a... Um, it's actually... So, it'll be on the article okay. that I next talk about. But there's a picture um, that has a... I'm a, I looked at the picture and, like, I didn't see anything different. So, I'm just... It, it has a woman. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And they zoom into her crotch. Why? Because it's what they do. <laughs> like, this is what the group does? Or this is what... No, this is what the internet does. 
So they zoom in and they're like, oh. Mm. Assuming it is a woman or a man, what is this? <laughs> That's what they do. So this group now is is upset that what a, a gender was assumed internet. in a video it's game. The internet. All right, the internet was pissed off that a video game developer assumed a gender of a fake character. That's what you're telling me right now. That happened. Yeah, I mean it's dumb. It's absolutely stupid. Uh, Frawley and Diamond. Wes only a loser on Fridays. That's a lie. We know. Juke W um, says, "I wonder if the guy will be able to keep his low-profile way of life after all that happened, or he will not be able to walk two steps without someone asking for a selfie." I mean, I've been told that he's the kind of guy that he'll endlessly take selfies with people. Oh yeah. So I've heard through the grapevine. Oh, what is this? I may take a nap now. Wesley, would you like your big pink? Sensory deprivation floating. Interesting. Wow. Uh, so that's the giveaway. Oh, you guess beat this me tune. To it. Oh. You beat me to it. It's okay. <laughs> it's the giveaway. Guess the tune. Follow the link in the giveaway or, or in the chat. Right. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Follow the link. Uh, you can win a beautiful case. Alien Icon says the songs are getting too easy now. Well. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So what's the case, Wesley? Uh, the case... It's a nice one, let me tell you. <laughs> if you pronounce the name of the case correctly, I'll give you one. Game... Is, is it Game Diaz? Game me, 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 me. Game Diaz? Game me, 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 me. I would, I would pronounce that Gom Diaz. Kalos, E1 case. Gomdius. Gomdius sounds not tangible. Game Diaz? Game Diaz? Game Diaz. Guess how to Talos. pronounce this and E1 you might case. win the case. Right. <laughs> pronounce the case right and you'll win the case. Pronounce it wrong and we'll send you a loaf of bread that's gone bad a week prior. Oh, I, I don't want that. We will send you a bag from the loaf of bread that only has the ends in it. That's it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> real quick, I've got a. Can we get the camera on Joe real quick, please? Why? By chance. Why? Uh, just all right. So, ladies nice and gentlemen, forehead, though. look at this gliss. <laughs> 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 it is out there. It's big. I mean, it's I have a big forehead, but it's being covered up today. But my God, man! They call me Fifteen Head, actually. <laughs> at least I don't hide. You know, my, my magnanimous 15 head with a beanie, Wesley, sir. But which, by the way, where'd you get that beanie? I got this beanie from, well, it's from Asus, but <laughs> <laughs> definitely one day it was not just like, oh, a freaking beanie. Here you go, Wesley. I owe you one. I'm but, like, thanks. Yeah, of course. I know never. Why would that ever happen? Hey, if to be fair, this one was <laughs> not yours. Uh-huh. I swear mm -hmm. this one was not yours. Yeah, sure. All right, but let me tell you, okay, I'm covering a lot more than this forehead, dude, all right? I'm not trying to blind people mm -hmm. with, you know, this solar panel on my head, okay? Wait, really? Surprise! People did not guess last week's song correctly at all? What? Wow. Wow. Like, not many people. And Juke W, yes, you are correct. The first one was not easy. I was trying to make it. You know, a little challenging, but I guess I made it too challenging pulling a game from the 80s. I mean, I am only 25, so... But uh, still, <clears throat> like, people can't do research anymore. You even want giveaways handed to you. Like, come on. Just assess a little bit of skill and knowledge. Well, Duke, sub uh, Duke W said he got it right, though. Well, there you go, man. Kudos to you. All right. Uh, last thing I want to say about um, Keanu Reeves appearing throughout Cyberpunk 2077, by the way. Uh, so he has a fiction of your imagination that's been confirmed. He is essentially Cyberpunk's Cortana. Oh, okay. come on. Come on. On. Shut up, forehead. I'm done with you. <laughs> forehead? Yes. That's the best you could do? Shut up, forehead? You know what? You couldn't even get created? I at least called myself 15 head. You forehead. 15 head. How ridiculous does that sound? Shut up, beard face. Look, you want to. We could just turn <laughs> this into a roast session I mean, until if you the want cows to. come home. I would prefer to turn it into a dad joke session, to be honest with you. 
That's what I want. I want a dad joke session. Oh, yeah? Which you and I le- legitimately can do because we have, you know, we have the dad badge. We d- and this we have- is a dad forehead, mind you. Right? It's okay for dads to have foreheads like this, Wes Ray. All right, Vofif. All right, all right, hold on. <laughs> all right. Uh, why don't you take over on a topic here? Cause are, are you researching dad jokes? I want to. Or insults? Look at this no. guy. In, you want insults? No, let me tell you an insult. A real insult is the fact that like this one. Uh, a graphics card architecture that hasn't even been out for a year yet is apparently coming out with a refresh. I'm talking about NVIDIA's, NVIDIA's RTX 20 Super yep. line. That's uh, supposedly happening. We've not oh. received official word, and to be honest, even if we did receive official word, I wouldn't tell you. So supposedly, RTX 20 series is coming out with a refresh. I have something to say to that, but first, Alien Icon said Father's Day is this Sunday. Thank you. Yes, it is uh, this Sunday thank you is how about she said that. it. You need to learn how to read the context properly. Listen. Father's Day is this Listen. Sunday. You know what's really awkward is I ran up to Dennis before the live show. I was like, hey, Dennis, happy Father's Day, man. You he told me. One. He told me you confused <laughs> the hell out of him. He was like, wait a minute. He said he went home, <laughs> waited like halfway through the weekend, and was like, where's my Father's Day present? <laughs> and they're all like, Dad, it's, it's not this week. And he was like, Wesley. Well, give me a present anyway. <laughs> um, and about the refresh, bruh. The refresh, the refresh. I, they ha- it hasn't even been a year. I know. Listen, here's my thought process, and I'm paranoid at the release of products ever since the Xbox 360. Do you think it is possible that the refresh was the targeted release product, like final release product? From the get-go, but they were able to get the RTX series working enough to push out for sale last year, hence the problems. Do you think that's possible? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what, like, companies do now. That that wasn't standard. People freaked out when they heard Microsoft did it. But, I mean, to be fair, Microsoft supported the hell out of the 360 to the point to where people were getting replacements within a week. So they were prepped and ready, knowing. Yeah. Um, As far as I can tell... We really didn't have to wait around a whole lot for any replacement RTX cards that we had to replace. So everybody was prepared to. It's fine. It's whatever. Right. And this is kind of the price you pay for being an early adopter of new tech. It's It comes with the territory now. Right. In anything. I'm curious to see if these performance differences actually hold their weight in a lot of different respects. So the new RTX 20 Super Series is supposedly going to be faster. So a higher core clock. It's going to have more memory bandwidth and an increase in CUDA core count. We're not talking like life-changing, probably like 150 to 300 maybe within that ballpark. So for anybody who has not purchased an RTX card yet, this is your chance to purchase an RTX card now. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, if the price points are better, I may actually consider it. I, I almost felt like I'd become somewhat of a Titan snob. Since I've owned a Titan. Yeah. But there's no way in hell I'm paying two grand for a graphics card, dude. No no way. No. That's I could true. justify the additional three to five hundred dollars. Like that's that's something you could save up for for an additional like three to five months and be like, okay, I have a Titan now, it's great. Not a not mortgage payments worth of money. Like, no. That's true. Like, sorry, honey. Oh, we're getting evicted from our house because <laughs> Titan RTX. But Titan RTX. <laughs> Can you sleep in a Titan RTX? Can it put a roof over your head? Can it provide shelter during a tornado? We'll make it happen. Will Titan RTX land on you if a tornado collapses itself on top of yourself? Find out next week where we'll tell you. Find out next week where Joe sells his house to buy an RTX Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Which then also oh. has to carry court costs because everybody I know and love doesn't want anything to do with me anymore because I sold my house for a graphics card. I'll be there for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drew W leaks right. leaks. I mean, it, it is. It's it's the it's supposed online right now. There's it's... no official word from Nvidia that the RTX 20 Super Series is coming. There were just leaks. I can't confirm whether it's true or not because again, haven't been told anything. It makes you wonder though, because I get it. Like they were the cars were in high demand when they came out. We mm-hmm. all knew that. Yep. But it makes you wonder. Like even when it came to like certain things for me. Like, for my job, they're supposed to have a totally different section, like, reserves mm-hmm. for these issues. They didn't even have that. No. So, that, that 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 conspiracy, that theory is, I feel like it's very true. You think so? 
I, 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 I don't pretend to know things. I just, I just talk about stuff. You, we just, we just talk. You know, Duke W says I call it marketing. Well, you're not wrong. That's true. It's a, it's, a, it's 2019 marketing, sadly. Okay, let's hop back to something new in gaming. Ooh. Oh, I see this. Well, wow. I didn't even intend for like my topics to blend into Wesley's topics, but they kind of already have. So what do you got going on in gaming news? What is the latest? Well, back to Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> but what 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 about Cyberpunk 2077? What's what's happening with it? It will support oh boy. Nvidia. Ooh. RTX. Ooh. Ray tracing it. Oh <laughs> Jazz Fingers! Oh, Alright. Um <clears throat> finally. As I stated in my notes here, a game that I actually care about having <laughs> ray tracing capability. And you have an RTX card. I do. That's amazing. Um, okay, so what are you going to do with the RTX quick, card? Are you going to cook an omelet on it while you're playing? Yes. Cyberpunk twenty seven. I'm going to do that. Right. So the top picture on the article, it's which the, nobody can see in detail. Yeah, absolutely. Ahead. Well, I'm just pointing <laughs> it out. If anyone wants to go and look, okay, that picture. Actually, is there any way we can? Have that come? Okay, there we go. Look at that. So, first and foremost, just look how freaking beautiful this is. Oh, my God. Not just beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. So, okay. it is a first-person shooter. Yes. According to the screenshot. There's no third person. Oh, you person. don't know anything about this. I told you, dude. Oh, when I have a game man. I'm excited about, I like the surprise. Well, let me All tell right. you, you are in for a surprise, my guy. Surprise. 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 But, Rise soup. Uh, Rise. Juke W says neon ray tracing that I'll never see using my ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, don't worry. There's a refresh coming. So, I mean, maybe Nvidia is going to come out with a program called dedicated ray tracing cards, and then you just get a card in your PC. It's secondary, and you just use that there for ray you tracing. Go. You know, kind of like Fizz X. <laughs> Let's not go on that tangent again. No, I don't want to. I don't have enough air um, in my lungs to do but that. But anyways, the the middle picture. On those three, is that the um, controversial one? Yes. Is that it? Yes. Is that a dude or a girl? I think it's <laughs> both. I mean, this is a game about you know body modification. Yeah, so nobody. What, where was everybody? Floats your boat. Where was where were these people when Deus Ex came out? Like, oh, you're assuming it's a person. They're half robot. You're assuming their identity. They wanted to be a robot. Look, their arm is a microwave. They well, identify as a household appliance. I did see, I saw a article stating that um, Cyberpunk 2077, the, and this isn't in my article, but we'll dive back into the RTX space. Oh, my oh. God. Give me a stick. Um, they are, when it comes to customizing your character, because you can create your own character, obviously. Hmm. Yes. Um, it, it's going to have non-binary, and you don't have, you do not have to classify. All right. I mean, whatever. Do what you want. Who was it? Was it Shapiro that made a comment like, "If I had, if I had a dollar for every gender available, I'd have two dollars." <laughs> <laughs> if people just kind of sat there blankly staring at him. K Sunny Smile sixty one. Hi as. That's my mother. Yellow. Hi as. Yellow. You know she tells me every single week. I just love how you guys interact. It's so awesome. Yeah, my mom bought a 4K TV. She's like, I, I pull you up on the YouTube app. And I just sit back on my couch, and I have some sunflower seeds, or maybe some popcorn, maybe some KFC biscuits. I don't know. It just depends on the time, you know, what I want them in the mood for. I'm like, that's, that's great, true. Mom. I love you. Uh, Duke W said, this is a controversy topic. No, it, it very much is. Um, that's why know, I'm like, I'm not stating my opinions. I'm just no, stating won't. things that happen. <laughs> CDPR, that's the point. <laughs> Nonetheless, so whatever people say, this game, I'm quote me on this, Joe. I'm quoting you. This game, <laughs> this game will take all the awards next year. I mean, this ge- no. I know ah, ah, ah! I'm saying. Hey. I was just saying, you think it's going to get more rewards than Fallout 76? Oh, yeah. So by awards, meaning like the product people actually expected? Oh, yeah. Um, so real quick, to finish up on the ray tracing, uh, Casey APTS. Smile says she does have popcorn. Lol. Uh, APST, uh, uh, AS, APS Twitch says, I think you can use RTX on a 1060 <laughs> for just about two frames per second. Juke W. Yeah, my screenshots look <laughs> amazing. I, um, I'm sensing eye rolls with some of these statements. Yeah, too. most definitely. Most definitely. 
Oh, oh two frames a second. <laughs> A-dubs TV, welcome. Zach Hello. sent me to roast you about your facial hair. It's freaking beautiful, okay? Leave this man alone. Ah! Zach is just upset because even when he does grow a beard, it's patchy. Oh. <laughs> I'm done. Get destroyed. <laughs> I just, don't worry, though. Just saying. All right. I think Zach looks up to you. All right. Zach so does? This, he's going to come in with just this next week. I mean, how else would you expect somebody to look at you when you're down on your knees? <laughs> so anyways, ray tracing. <laughs> um, just, just so we're all clear here. That this was this was not my doing. This is this is thanks to Casey. Don't let him lie to you. This is things the goatee accentuates the forehead. <laughs> it sure does. Wow, somebody wants to sleep on the couch tonight. <laughs> yeah, it'll me. Be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just look at the glisten. The light does such wonders for that. That later forehead. later tonight, she's gonna be like, "Do you want to watch a movie?" I'm like, "No, I want to play video games." It accentuates the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <sighs> I I threatened her. I'm like, keep pushing. It. I'm just gonna shave all the facial hair. Just go. People are gonna think you're robbing the cradle. My mom asked me if I was serious about us shaving our heads on stream. Oh yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> it'll Bring the clippers. It'll accentuate. Bring the clippers. Our... I'll I'll you know I'll, I'll make sure I wear like a loose shirt so I don't get hair clippings or maybe just wrap like a blanket around my neck because it's it's gonna be some really itchy stuff. <laughs> That's like the downside about shaving your own head. Like it's not. Adam said, "Shave your eyebrows too." I told Wesley to do that. Actually, did you really? Yeah, don't you remember? I was like, no. "Keep the beard, shave your head, and oh, shave yeah, your that's eyebrows." Right. And you were like, "What? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Why uh, would I do that?" Case I'm Case Sunny Smile says, or sixty one says, "I'd buy a ticket." Cool. You bought the ticket. Now ride the ride. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, real quick. Go full though. chemo treatment. <laughs> A dad joke for you. All right. <laughs> Go on. Today, my son asked, can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. 11 years old, and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. <laughs> Here's one. Two olives are sitting on top of a kitchen counter. One of them falls off. The olive on top of the counter says, looks down and goes, hey, man, are you okay? And the one on the floor looks up and goes, Olive! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. It wow. would accentuate the loneliness then. Yes. <laughs> this is true. Get destroyed. <laughs> wrecked. Get wrecked, mate. Oh, <laughs> this one's good. Hold on. Last one, and then we'll go into uh, ABA News, I think. Uh, no, I have one I bought, thing to talk about. I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced them with, but I was tripping all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need we need to do, like, next week, I'm calling it. We're going to do half some industry news, ABA News, and then we need to do a half hour of dad jokes. Are you just going to cut out my games? Well, no, we'll do the giveaway differently, okay? They they have to guess who's going to win, right? And whoever guesses that they that, that you know the person that won right, they'll be entered in it for a chance to win whatever it is we're giving away. Okay. Does that work? It, yes. Uh just I know I laughed way too hard at that. I know. And he's probably talking about me. And let me tell you, A-dubs, get a sense of humor, okay? He does have a, a pretty good sense of humor actually. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's 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 pretty good. Recon Spartan, welcome. That was a terrible joke. It was a dad joke. Three. I needed someone. I needed somewhere to keep my USDA inspected chicken strip, so I bought a wallet. Now my legal tender is safe. You said chicken strip, not chicken tender. There was one joke that I really liked that Gerard told me. The one joke. <laughs> um, no, it was the one about the the lobster. I don't think he told me. He tried to tell me, probably, and I just shoot him away. Okay, so it, 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 it's giving credit to Gerard. So yeah. what's the difference between a filthy bus station and a lobster with boobs? What? One's a crusty bus station, and the other's a busty crustacean. <laughs> 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 uh, 
That was good. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was good. That was really good. Gerard, though, just stop, please. You make <laughs> cry. That was a good uh, joke, Gerard. That's great. Just stop, though. Just stop. No more. Please. Stop. Okay, so we'll cover my remaining topic in tech news, which... You want to talk about AVN news? We will. We'll get there. Okay. We're going to get there. I'm sorry. Oil, I was trying oil. to lead for once, oil, but you oil, know, oil. just shut me down. Anyways, what do you got, Joe? Mm. Samsung's coming out with a G-Sync monitor. It's their first first G-Sync monitor ever. It's 27 inches, right? Top Supports star. 240 hertz, and it's 1080p. So let me tell you. So I 1080p. Watched, I wa- Hold on. It's 1080p! Okay! I watched this get unveiled, right? The monitor? Yeah. They announced it at the PC Gamer Show um, for E3. Did people boo? No. One guy goes, there's a 4K. The Samsung guy goes, <laughs> no, not for that price point. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like that's that's how you create competition. Like everybody else sells this 4K G Sync 27 inch monitor for 800 dollars, 500 with Samsung, they'd sell out. I'd be like, ah, oh, right. dude, I would buy an, an I would buy it just because it was that cheap. I'd give Casey my G Sync monitor, like <laughs> 4K G Sync 27 inches for 450 dollars. Done. Why can't you? Why don't you give her the 4K one? Hmm? Because she barely games as is. Look at you. She just got done telling me yesterday. I'm only going to have time this year for one game. And it's oh, I Borderlands was there. 3. I heard it. Okay. But why not? Why not? When she does sit down and play, why not let her have that luxurious 4K experience? Because I gave her... <laughs> Disgusting. A, um, I gave her a 20... I, she went from a 21.5-inch 1080p monitor to a 27-inch 2K monitor. And she's like, eh, I don't see the difference. It's really bright. Didn't see the difference, huh? Nope. All right. <clears throat> a Doberman once lived in a clay brick house. He forgot to pay his mortgage, so he was evicted. Simply put, Adobe's Adobe, Adobe, oh, doe. What is your problem? Gerard Adobe's w. Adobe abode, oh, doe. Tell them the brand, Joe. What was the brand, Joe? Uh, it went from Asus to this no-name brand called, like, Nexius. It was my monitor before it was hers. It's 2K, and it's IPS. So the color clarity is outstanding. It's fantastic. You look really happy right now. Is it because you wished you had a 27-inch IPS Nexius monitor? I don't have a Nexius, but I have a 27 IPS uh, 2K <laughs> monitor. That's Acer. Alien icon. Lol. It sucks. I bet. I mean, I it really isn't. For you. It really isn't, though. The only reason why she thinks it sucks is because it has thick borders around the screen. Who wants that? For free? Probably anybody. Wow. <laughs> Dude. It's like I was building a liquid cooling system. I mean, I'm like, hey, you want me to make it all on. pretty? I don't care. I got to say. But you're going to critique the monitor. I got to say. With a forehead like that, what would you expect him getting name brand? Come on. What does a forehead have to do with buying name brand? Because it's out there. I was just trying to make a joke about your forehead. Oh, okay. You think like, just, <laughs> are you saying like the reflection of the light then refracts on the products I'm looking at? And I don't pay attention to the logo because I can't see it because of the reflection of the light off my forehead. So I'm like, go oh, buy that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I would wear a beanie like you, but that beanie is the entire reason why you have barely anything on under that hat, anyways. Oh, <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> oh. you, you don't get upset when you get roasted. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> and it begins. I'm getting tight. <laughs> Do you want me to take this hat off? No, you don't have to. Okay, good. Although you kind of look like Danny DeVito with the hat off. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Is it because I'm short too? <laughs> I saw a tweet. Uh, I don't, I, I'm sure it was probably Photoshop, but it was Justin Bieber demanding that <laughs> Tom Cruise fight him in a UFC ring. He's like, I bet he won't. And then it's just a reply from Danny DeVito. Why don't you come and fight me, you coward? <laughs> You know, Danny DeVito, the new, uh, the new Wolverine. Tell me you've seen that. No. No, you haven't seen... Uh, they started a petition to make Danny DeVito the next Wolverine in the MCU. And so they started Photoshopping Danny DeVito as Wolverine. And it's, fan- it's amazing. Think there's going to be some more X-Men after Dark Phoenix? Phoenix? Well, <laughs> shut up. You called it Dark Phoenix too? <laughs> Damn. Who else did? <laughs> 
I was the one that told you I called it Dark Phoenix. Oh, and I made fun of you for yeah. that. And you're just didn't even, see, it's easy to do. It just rolls off the tongue. At least it's not like Dark Fetus. Right? That's true. K Sunny Smile 61. What did the pirate say on his eighth birthday? I matey. Um, there it is. There it is. Oh no, I didn't see that. <laughs> Danny DeVito <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> that is that is good. Oh, man. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. Uh K Sunny Smile, aka Mom. I'm sorry, I don't get that joke. I'm eight E. I'm eight. I think she means eightieth. I'm eighty. Oh. Yeah. It just killed it. Did I tell you the, the joke about the pirate that walks into a bar? No. Pirate walks into a bar, where, and then there's a, a big ship wheel attached to his, the front of his belt, and he sits down, and he orders a drink, and the bartender says, so uh, what's with the wheel? And the pirate goes, argh, it drives me nuts. Adubs TV says, I don't know how I would explain this if someone busted me watching this stream at work. <laughs> <laughs> and like, they, they come in, they startle you, and you pull your headphone out of the notebook so they just hear something really crude and obnoxious, and you just look at them and you're like, I'm on lunch. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get my box now. Yeah. Uh, Galley Fry falls no more. Are you sure that wasn't a picture of Wes? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. You're going to look like Danny if you know when you get older. <laughs> this Halloween, can you dress up as the penguin? <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get the button down PJs that go all the way from your chest down down to your legs. <laughs> and then you have to really commit to it though. Make like rice krispie treats and then decorate them to look like like fish. You can just walk around the office just chewing on fish all day. A like top hat. That's a lot of work. It is, but I mean Kudos for the commitment. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, now that I'm done talking about Samsung, Samsung's Samsung? monitor that would have been great ten years ago. Samsung. Sam. Samsung. <laughs> Samsung. Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for me, Joe? Um, AVA news. Summer sale still going on. Ends the twentieth. 